Well, the European Union has released its recommendations for keeping the Christmas season safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Europe's famous Christmas markets that usually bring in hundreds of tourists, like this one in Germany, are set to be closed over fears of social distancing. Other suggested restrictions include travel and being attentive to mental health support, especially toward the elderly. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, so good to see you. So tell us, overall, what do the COVID recommendations say for the European countries during Christmas? Good evening, Tracy. Well, this 14-page document is a guide to European countries from the European Commission as to what the best restrictions and measures should be to restrict the spread of COVID-19 across Europe over the holiday season. And this, of course, is coming at a time when people are normally traveling more than usual. They're visiting family and friends, attending the traditional work parties, Christmas carols, services, and so on and so forth. Now, before they recommended the different measures that should be implemented, the document outlines the COVID situation across Europe at the moment. It gives an overview, and it says that Every 17 seconds, a person dies from COVID-19 within the European Union. And this document starts by urging countries within the Union not to undo or reverse the great work that they have done by implementing lockdowns and restrictions over the past couple of months. They don't want them to undo all that work by loosening the restrictions over the holiday season. The document goes on to say that those very restrictions, those measures that have been implemented, are the best tool that countries have in the fight against COVID-19. And of course, I'm talking about measures like social distancing, working remotely, the mandatory wearing of masks, increased testing, and so on. Colin, what about religious services? What did the EU have to say about those? Yes, well, Tracy, when talking about religious uh, services, the EU has warned that the transmission of the virus and the speed of its spread could be greatly increased by what it called cultural traditions, such as end-of-year festivities and religious services taking place. It warned that these could be what they call super-spreader events. Now, in terms of masses and religious services, it has a few recommendations to governments. But remember, Tracy, these are just recommendations. It's up to each individual member nation within the EU to come up with their own rules within their territories. But some of the recommendations to avoid having large services. But when there are services within churches that close families would have a designated spot within the church that would be cornered off and just kind of for themselves. Also, it recommends to ban communal singing across the board and that TV, radio and online should be used as an alternative to people attending these services in person. Now, we read the document today in full, Tracy, and at no point does it recommend stopping religious services or banning people from attending them outright. It does say in another part, though, however, that mass gatherings should be completely banned. But what the definition of a mass gathering is, again, that will be up to each individual member nation in the European Union to decide that. Con, we have about a minute left, but I'm curious, how are church leaders responding to this? Well, Tracy, there is a mixed reaction and there's mixed debate among the faithful as to what Christmas will be like this year and how public masses should or should not be. For example, in Belgium, bishops are calling for dialogue with the government and the government there in Belgium have announced that all religious ceremonies will be suspended until January the 15th. The bishops are saying that this is limiting the experience of their faith. In my home country, Ireland, yesterday in the country's largest newspaper, the Irish Times, one priest was calling for the Irish bishops to announce that all masses across Christmas would be held online. They say that is the safest way. In the United Kingdom, Bishop John Arnold, he is at the Diocese of Salford, he has suggested that people attend one mass between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And his reasoning for that was that so the priests and the church volunteers would not be overworked in sanitizing the churches. In France, there's an ongoing fight between the bishops and the government. They are fighting for the 30-person limit to be increased over the Christmas period. In Spain, it looks like churches will remain open and masses will be allowed to be attended by the public. However, singing will be banned. And here in Italy, churches will remain open. People can still attend mass. However, the 10 p.m. curfew is likely to remain in place nationwide over the Christmas period, which means that the traditional midnight mass is likely not to go ahead here this year. Okay, well, thank you so much, Colin Flynn. EWTN News Rome correspondent, always appreciate your time, Colin. Thanks again. Tracy, thank you very much.